Okay. Okay, so today is the 22nd of November and we've given our last final presentation for the year. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess the experience as an honours or as a postgrad student has been life changing to a certain degree. Um, you learn a lot about yourself, your boundaries, um, how to push yourself, um, the intellectual capacity, as well as um, how to have fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> and one of the greatest things is the amount of skills you learn in such a short period of time is really immense. Um, I think if you can compare the amount of skills you learn now to what you learned in undergrad, like, it's like, it's not even measurable. Like be dramatic and say that I feel that I've learned more in one year in postgrad, in one honors year than what I've learned in my entire undergrad year. Because undergrad is kind of like theory, study of better fashion and so it's like what you can remember, but honors is completely different. It's about skill. And also, um, a big difference between undergrad and postgrad is a massive emotional investment that you give. Whereas in undergraduate, it's a very conceptual type of degree. Um, a postgraduate degree is very emotional and conceptual. Mm -hmm. So you're giving a lot of your time, a lot of yourself, a lot of your own motivation to something. And when your experiments fail or things don't work, it can get very, very emotional. So there's massive emotional investment. And as Chanel said, you really, I, I mean, I feel I've learned more in my honours year than I have throughout my undergrad purely because it showed me how to push boundaries, the properly push boundaries. And you won't just assess the way that a lecturer wants you to be assessed. You kind of get assessed on, I wouldn't say who you are, but more how you know your stuff in your own way, not how they want you to answer a test question. So that's a big difference as well, where they truly see, do you know what you're talking about, or can you just parrot down an answer? And then on the other side of things, honest is more of a personal experience as well, because it's not just a lecturer standing there and lecturing to you and then you go write the test. So you actually get into contact with more people, learn more from people definitely. Um, I think this is definitely one of the most social partners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's elaborate. Yeah, please. Um, in terms of there's no, there's like no hierarchy, hierarchy. So it's not that people consider themselves because they have higher qualifications than what you do. They don't consider themselves to be, you know, more superior than what you are. Like there's really like an open door policy. You can feel comfortable to speak to anybody. If you're struggling with anything, you can really go ask anyone. There's yeah, no kind of there's no level of everybody's just. Yeah. And there's also like a lot of support from the different mm -hmm. postgraduate um, students. So masters or doctorate students are very happy to um, help you master or learn your technique that you're struggling with. Um, you can go to the different um, research groups and get help from any PhD student from any research group they're willing to help. The lecturers are very, very accessible um, and they do put you first, which is really nice. And it's much more intimate. It's a much more intimate relationship than what you have in undergrad. <laughs> I no. think um, like, lots of people maybe made us think that it would be easier than what it was. So I didn't expect to leave with this much skills and this much, like, not pride, but actually feeling proud of myself for, for what I got through. Yeah. Very different to undergrad, so you can't really expect it. It is very difficult, extremely difficult. Like, I don't know, I always had this like misconception that genetics was the difficult on this course and this was more of a free, chill, do you have time um, course. But I don't know why the lecturers for some reason feel that you need to constantly be busy. It's like this idea that they have that if you're an honest, you're not allowed to have free time. So you won't have free time, ever. And if you do have free time, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Very wrong. <laughs>